A couple of weeks ago, I made a video about the new version 4 of the OnStep Go 2 kit for EQ mounts. And after that video, a lot of you asked to see it in action. Well, ask and you shall receive. Let's dive right into it. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to BD Observatory. If you are not already familiar with OnStep, it's an aftermarket complete solution that adds full go-to tracking capabilities to a manually controlled mount. There are multiple versions available, compatible with different EQ mount types. I bought the Exos 2 version for my EQ5 class mount and if you want to see an installation guide first, then check out my other video, I leave a link below. Alright, now let's take a closer look. To give you a more complete picture, I start with my software setup, the one I've configured on my Windows running laptop to control the OnStep module. And just so you know, I leave links to everything in the video description below for you to check out later. The first thing I installed was the ESCOM platform. This is their base software and doesn't include any drivers or plugins. It's only the underlying foundation upon which other pieces of software can run. Next, I installed the SCOM driver for the OnStep module from StellarJourney.com. This gives me full wired and wireless access to the OnStep module via the SCOM platform. Right now, I'm using a wired USB connection between OnStep and my laptop, as you can see here in the drop down. As mentioned before, there is also the possibility of connecting the OnStep module wirelessly using the OnStep's own app or via the Stellarium app on my phone. Connecting to OnStep this way basically turns your phone into a smart hand controller. Once connected to Stellarium, you are able to pick any target you want, either by searching for it or by simply tapping on the map, which is very intuitive and convenient. Once you send the go to command, you can also track the telescope's position on the screen in real time, which is a really nice feature as well. I find connecting the OnStep module to the smartphone to be the ideal solution for quick observing sessions, where I don't want to carry my laptop, power station, a table and a chair with me outside. Alright, going back to the laptop as the controlling device. It's time to look at the astrophotography tool for the upcoming job of managing and capturing the desired object. The software I chose for this job is NINA or Nighttime Imaging and Astronomy created by Stefan Berg and I think it's just awesome. Not only that it gives me full access to the OnStep module through the ASCOM driver, but also lets me connect to my camera, set up and fully schedule my imaging session, perform plate solving and much more, all in one place. It also offers the capabilities to connect to a guiding camera, motorized focuser and other electronic aids I might be adding to the setup in the future. And since it's an open source project, it gets updated on a regular basis. Not only this, but it's also completely free, which is nuts considering how capable it is. For navigation and finding the target, I use the desktop version of Stellarium. Here I have also configured the OnStep module. This allows me to directly import the target into Nina, which is very convenient. And just like in the case of the smartphone app, it also allows me to monitor the telescope's orientation in real time. For post-processing the data after the imaging session, I use Deep Sky Stacker. This is to stack all the captured frames. The final stacked image is then edited using GIMP. Alright, now that we are done with the software part, let's see the OnStep in action. Here, in preparation for an imaging session of the NGC 7000, also known as North America Nebula, I'm using the star Deneb as a practice target. First, I start by using ASCOM and making sure that the OnStep module can communicate with my laptop. Once the communication is established, I launch Nina and Stellarium, and in both programs I connect to my OnStep module. 
In order to easier get to the target I desire, I search for Deneb in Stellarium and then switch to Nina. There I click on the import button and wait for Nina to acquire the information from Stellarium. As soon as this is done, I click slew and center and wait for the telescope, which up until now was resting in a true north position, to move to the target, lock on it and fine tune the orientation by performing plate solving on the patch of sky it is pointing at. Here are the on-step servos in action. After using the OnStep module for over a month now on multiple occasions, I can say that even though the initial software setup like driver installation and configuration was a bit overwhelming in the beginning, once everything was connected and set up, I had no problems whatsoever with it. This might change in the future and I'm very curious how this will hold up in time, but at least for now I have yet to experience any connection issues or other problems. For me it simply works flawlessly. Alright, that's it for now, I hope you all enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe if you did and I'll catch you guys in the next one.